My name is Erin, and these are my team members, Matt, Ali, Laura, Tara, Lauren, and Josh. Sorry, stay dry. <laughs> um, we had the privilege of doing our project and collaborating with our client, Cengage Learning, throughout this trimester. Cengage is a large organisation that provides innovative textbooks and learning technologies throughout Australia and New Zealand. The company gave us access to their online learning portal, WebAssign, and we were asked to explore and then explain how the product worked and how it will be useful to students. We investigated how it, help, how it will help students to master their course content and achieve better learning outcomes in their assignments and exams through the use of an online textbook connected to a multitude of questions. It really has something for everyone because yeah. um, as we went through the things before, it's got the different uh, learning, uh, what, what do you call these, um, learning aids, and you've got practice it, which is just generally you practice questions, which would be better for people that are more experienced with the subject, and you have master it, which would be more for someone new that's more of a just a visual learner. Uh, what what master it does is it actually breaks down like the complex questions into different segments, so. Commonly in physics, which is what we got a trial with, uh, you'll get questions that have actually multiple parts in them, like you'll have to work out A to then put into equation B to work out equation C. But uh, what it would do is, as you can see here, it's got parts one, two, three uh, out of six, and it breaks it down so you can just move from one to the next. And for the auditory learners, it's actually got uh, the watch it option for questions and uh, what this is, is uh, someone on uh, digital pen and paper, essentially. They're going through the question, reading it out, explaining what they're doing. And it's really helpful because they're also telling you where they're getting their data points from. So not only is it useful for this question, but all these resources will also help you apply it to different questions. Yeah, as well as that, um, after you answer the question, it actually tells you, explains why you got it right or why you got it wrong, which is really useful because I know I guess some of the questions because I'm not that great at physics. Mm -hmm. um, and it actually explained why I guessed it correctly, which I found was like, yeah, like really um, helpful. If you get a question wrong, it'll tell you whether you're close, like a 10% margin or far off, like you've over doubled the answer. Or it also knows if you've got like an incorrect sign, so say the answer is negative 12 and you write 12, it'll actually say uh, a wrong sign used. And it also, it, it has like a smart system where if you don't round exactly to what, like you would get wrong on the online tests at some other places, it'll actually like say you're correct even though it's slightly different to the answer that it wants. So I feel like yeah it does cater to kind of all the kind of learners like I know we're all very different in the way we do learn but we all found it to be really helpful for going through the different um, features they have. Yeah. Yeah so we um, actually talked about this but um, the personal study guide basically tells you what you need to work on and what you like already know. I don't know if like a lot of students here, like we can probably relate where if you're studying for a test, you always focus on what you do know because like it's comfortable. Whereas um, WebAssign tells you what you need work and what you already know. So you don't need to waste time, you know, in studying what you already know. So um, so you should it, it literally does. It was, it was amazing. And the personalised aspect is great because you can make slider alterations, make your own plan because as we all know, everyone's different. Not everyone's going to get the same learning out of the same resource if there's no fluidity to it. The only limitation that we kind of like all, all agreed on was that like getting the students to actually go online and complete the question is the most is like the hardest part. Yeah. Once you get on there, like like so we love it. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, but um, they have kind of like set assignments that the teacher can like set yeah. for the students. So as was later, yeah. they've also got some more interesting questions. Like um, you, obviously you can't see it here, but uh, you can actually this is actually a graph and you can uh, move the data point around and uh, yeah, you while you move it around, all the data points at the bottom, uh, they change along with it. And that's a more interactive and interesting way that some students might prefer when ask, uh, answering questions. Go, going out and getting a good resource, like just, I wish I actually understood the benefits that it could provide to me. Yeah, one of the things we talked about was um, 
one of the kind of issue with resources is we don't usually actually know what you can actually get from it, yeah. um, which is part of the reason we were very interested in making this presentation on flyer because we could actually show like what ones were actually good for students and what we actually enjoyed using through it rather than you know having someone stand up and be like, you should really buy this, like, yeah. just it's good. Yeah. Like, <laughs>